everybody wants to have a great time in Paris and you should, it's a fun city. And when there are a lot of tourists, there is also a lot of money. And when there's a lot of money, you have thieves and pickpockets and people running scams. So today, Colleen and I are going to share with you the nine scams to be aware of when you're staying in Paris. So you keep your money to yourself, you don't get your passport stolen, you don't get your phone stolen, and you have a great time. Are let's, you ready? I'm ready, let's go. All right, let's go, on y va. One of the classic ways people get ripped off or scammed in Paris is sitting in a restaurant, set your phone on the table, and somebody will just, you know, run by, bump a little bit, grab it, and they're off on a scooter and long gone with your phone. All your pictures, all your info. So you want to be careful about that. Inside the restaurant's a lot easier, but if you're sitting on an outdoor terrace, on the edge especially, pay attention to where your phone is and just be mindful about it. And the same thing goes with your purse. Another classic way that people get scammed in Paris is called the gold ring scam. So what happens is you're walking in Paris and all of a sudden someone that is like 10 feet away from you just picks up a gold ring from the floor and say, oh my God, I found this gold ring. Is this yours? And then they put it in your hand and then you have the gold ring. And you're like, well, I don't think so. And then they ask you for money. They ask you for 10 euros, 20 euros. So this is a classic scam in Paris. The best thing is not to interact with them and say, no merci keep walking and just know that this is a scam and they're gonna try to get money from you. Another classic scam in Paris is the fake ticket. Whether it's a fake metro ticket or a fake museum ticket, these guys will stand outside of a metro station or a museum and tell you something like, I didn't use this ticket or I bought it, but uh, I didn't get to use it. So you can buy it from me for half the price of what is listed. 99% of the time, the ticket will be expired. Of course, it's a scam. And they thought that they bought a ticket that was worth 50 euro for 25, but it's worthless. Do not buy ticket outside of the official place where you can buy the tickets because most likely you're going to get ripped off. So one of the scams that they have in the Montmartre area is around like the Moulin Rouge, Place Pigalle and things like that when you go to the shows. And I can tell you from experience, it's true because years ago, my dad took my sister and I to the Moulin Rouge and of course they whisked this old gentleman with two beautiful young ladies by his side brought us straight up to the front row and you know of course you want a, some champagne right but what we didn't know is that in all of our excitement we missed the little signs that say that $20 bottle of champagne is going to cost you four or five six hundred dollars or euros so you end up at the end of the night after the show you've had a good time you've had something to drink and all of a sudden you're hit with an astronomic bill make sure that you negotiate the bottle and have that on record before you take a sip because they're going to get you with that for sure one of the classic scams you'll have in paris is the little bracelets that some of the guys will want to put around your wrist and it happens a lot here in Montmartre. If you go all the way down at the base of the Sacré-Cœur, you'll see a lot of guys that are trying to put a little bracelet. So here's the, here's the game, here's how they do it. They tell you, please come close and everything, it's free, right? And then they put something around your wrist, it's a little bracelet, and they tie four or five little knots that are impossible to take out, and then you have it around your wrist. They'll ask you for some money and you kind of feel stuck because you can't take the thing off your wrist, right? So this is one of the things that you want to be careful right here. One of the other scams that you're going to find here is, sorry to say it, but if you go into a restaurant and order an English menu, um, you're going to get different pricing than if you just take the regular menu uh, in French. So I suggest that you walk in knowing what you want to order or take the French menu and then ask for the English menu because then you can compare one to the other and make sure that you got the right price for the right meal. Another thing that they uh, also do, you know, you ask for a cup of coffee and they'll bring you a double espresso instead of a single or assume that you want a cafe au lait and suddenly you're paying five or six euros for a cup of coffee that you should have paid two for. So make sure that you're paying attention to some of those little things and, and of course the best way to avoid that kind of problem is stay away from touristic restaurants. But if you do, check the regular menu first. So we're here in Gare du Nord and this is one of the places where you're going to find this scam which is all over Paris, or it's the fake taxis. So what happens is that as soon as you walk out of the station or at the airport or any big attraction, you'll have people that will come and say, do you need a ride? But the vast majority of the time, they'll charge you about three to four times more 
than what a regular taxi will. And uh, there are a couple of things. First of all, it's illegal. And second of all, it can be really dangerous because some of these guys are gonna try to rip you off. What you'll find in all the big attraction is you'll find what is called a taxi line. And there's a big blue sign that will say taxis. That's where you wanna get a taxi. The second thing is all taxis in France are regulated and they actually have the taxi sign on top of the car. They have the taxi light on top that actually says taxi with a little green light, which means that they're available. That's a legal taxi, and that is actually totally cool for you to take. Another scan that you'll have in most of the big train stations and sometime in the airport in Paris, they have a map of Paris or the metro that is open, and they're asking for help, right? They'll come to you and they say, I'm lost and I need some help. But what they're trying to do is they're trying to size you up and they're trying to distract you. It's usually as a team of two, the person with the map is there to actually distract you and there's a second person that is going to come by and snatch your bag or snatch your, your phone or do some stuff like that. And then the person with the map is going to act, oh my God, what happened to you? But it's like, it's a, it's, it's a scam. They actually are working in team. And just so be careful of people that are trying to distract you with some big large map because they're probably up to no good. One of the things that Paris is famous for is the Eiffel Tower, the Opera, and pickpockets. They are all over the place. Just make sure that all your personal belonging, your mobile phone, your wallet, everything is in the front pocket or better yet, zipped up on the inside. Don't keep anything on the outside pockets because the metros and the train station can get really crowded and you get elbow to elbow with people. And this is what happens is those people are very skilled. Right, they'll use the, the big crowds and then they'll get close to you and then next thing you know, your phone is gone, your wallet is gone. No, I don't wanna scare you. Overall, Paris is very safe. You will see cops and actually military all over the streets and there are cameras everywhere in the metro. Like Paris is a safe city overall. I've been all over the world. I can tell you it's one of the safest city. But when there are a lot of tourists, there is a lot of money and when there's a lot of money, it's going to attract actually thieves and that's just the reality of Paris so if you just be aware of your surrounding and know where your stuff is and you're gonna have a great time so we want you to fall in love with Paris as much as we have yeah and it's a lot easier to do if you don't have any hiccups on your For trip sure. yeah so if you take what we've shared with you today to heart and come on over and have a blast you'll have a love affair with Paris too yeah Paris is safe just be careful. There's a lot of money, therefore there's a lot of people that are looking to get that money legally or illegally, so just be careful. And until next time, au revoir. Au revoir.